I'm going to read you a bit from How to Train Your Dragon. And this is a part of the story when Hiccup has, has stolen his dragon uh, from Wild Dragon Cliff and he's taken it home, but the dragon is hibernating. And in this bit, it's the first time the dragon wakes up. So he meets the dragon for the first time. The dragon is in a basket. Hiccup has stolen it from the cliff in a basket on his back. Hiccup opened the basket. The smoke billowed out and made Hiccup and fish legs cough. Hiccup fanned it away. Once his eyes had stopped watering, he could make out a very small, ordinary dragon looking up at him with enormous, innocent, grass-green eyes. Hello, Toothless, said Hiccup, in what he hoped was a good accent in Dragonese. What are you doing? asked Fishlegs curiously. Dragonese is punctuated by shrill shrieks and popping noises and sounds most extraordinary when spoken by a human. Just talking to it, mumbled Hiccup, very embarrassed. Just talking to it, gasped Fishlegs in astonishment. What do you mean you're talking to it? You can't talk to it. It's an animal for Thor's sake. Oh, shut up, Fishlegs, said Hiccup impatiently. You're frightening it. Toothless huffed and puffed and blew out some smoke rings. He inflated his neck to make himself look bigger, which is something that dragons do when they are scared or angry. Eventually, he got up the courage to unfurl his wings and flap up onto Hiccup's arm. He walked his way up onto Hiccup's shoulder and Hiccup turned his face towards him. Toothless pressed his forehead onto Hiccup's forehead and gazed deeply and solemnly into Hiccup's eyes. They stayed there, snout to nose, without moving for about 60 seconds. Hiccup had to blink a lot because the gaze of a dragon is hypnotic and gives the unnerving feeling that he's sucking your soul away. Hiccup was just thinking, Wow, this is amazing. I'm really making contact here. When Toothless bent down and bit him on the arm. <laughs>